ASISHub.com here at ASIS 2017. Dallas, Texas, we're at the ASIS Hub. That's booth 1613, right in the smack dab center of all the action. Come by and say hi. Now, I'm really excited to have our next guest here. This is Mr. Robert Oatman, rloatman.com. Would you be considered the, uh, the godfather of executive protection? I'm not going to jinx myself. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just one of the players, if you will. But one of the pioneers in that field, I think, certainly. People would recognize that. But you're also on the ASIS Council, and you're the, the chair of That's correct. Yep. executive yeah. protection. Very exciting times. Yes, we uh, have a great team of, there's an old adage I use all the time, surround yourself with people who are a lot smarter. And I do the same thing. It works. It works for me. Exactly it works that way. Right. My mom told me, and it's worked for her, too. And that makes you the smartest guy in the room, because you know that. So. Well, let's just say that's, that's, that's very complimentary. But well, we have gray hair to make sure we, we are, verify that. We are really excited about the council. Uh, we started this in, and I say we because it's a we effort. We started it in 2013. Uh, we, first of all, were the first certificate program. Oh, uh, fabulous. Executive protection because yeah. we do our programs uh, for ASIS two times a year. In fact, uh, upcoming uh, in November, we'll be in this wonderful city of New Orleans, putting on the ASIS two-day executive protection training. But the really, really good part is, not only does the certificate program be the first that they uh, put into action, uh, it's meant a big difference because we believe without question, training is the utmost importance. But having third-party validation from ASIS right. International, I think gives an increased credibility, if you will. So the council itself is made up of a group of really wonderful men and women who have been in this industry for a very long time, some newbies, if you will, uh, wonderful Fortune 50 companies, uh, diversity, and everybody's just could not have a better group of folks. So the council was, lost, was launched in Atlanta at the seminar in 13, and uh, we're in our third year. So we're a full-fledged oh, council fabulous. at this point. So That's fabulous. very excited about that. And well, this is an industry that needs it, uh, and I'm going to be daring to say more than almost any other for certification, okay? This field is all over the place. I'm a bodyguard. What does that mean? I do executive protection. What does that mean? Right. Following a guy, uh, what does that mean? I mean, there's so many moving parts to this thing. And I find in the field, uh, a lot of the people in L.A. sometimes to do this, no license. They're not even licensed as a guard company doing executive protection, yes. right? So having that certification, I think, really brings us up a notch to make sure that people like yourself, they're scrutinizing and say, you know what? That's the right way. It's the best practice. It's very exciting. Now, you've been doing this. Uh, you did. We talked about your your career, right? Uh, Baltimore County yes. Sheriff's Department. No, Police Department. Oh, Baltimore County Police. Police Department. Oh, right. I'm getting my. No, it's fine. Right. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great agency. I still have a close working relationship with. I was there for 20 years, almost to the day. Right. Uh, still love the guys and gals who are there, and retired as a major. I was uh, the chief of detectives at the time, and that wasn't going to stop my momentum going right. forward. Very excited to enter the uh, workforce, the private sector. And it's been one serious ride since then. Even you've been in this space almost 30 years, I suppose, or yeah, more. Yeah, 28 years. Fabulous. And uh, we're a small business, but we, we made a decision very early on that this was really the forte that we would concentrate on. Right. And, I, and again, you don't do this without training. You don't do this without understanding the full commitment that you make. And the opportunity to train other people, I think, is is really a gift I love bag. doing it. I do, too. I, this, to me, is training, in a way. Yeah. I like talking to people, explaining, having sure. experts on. It's really kind of fun. Well, there's a passion. I think for anything, you yeah. really have to get it. So we've been very blessed by that. Uh, we conduct a seven-day program uh, two times a year, each May and each October. Our upcoming October program has been full for six weeks. We wow. only take 36 people. Yeah. So we've worked very hard for the brand, but more importantly, People believe in what we do because we, we're not there to tell you what to do. We share our expertise and we learn from each other. Right. And Fabulous. I think that's the compelling part. What, uh, what keeps you up at night? What keeps Robert up and worried about? Maybe something in the world, something about security. What's, what's the next big thing you think we need to pay attention to? Well, I, I would say this to you. I have a lot of friends who are CSOs who grew up in this industry and they've been friends for many years. And I won't tell you the CSO that gives the best response. Who sleeps at night? because it's a 24-hour world okay. and Excellent answer. we wow. just keep constant, what was his answer, and I yeah, think yeah. it was a legitimate one, yeah. but what's dynamic is that, you know, we've got to be concerned about so many different things, and I was impressed this uh, couple days about cyber, of course, which is out of my wheelhouse, right. but we're all affected by that. We're all impacted by Everybody's it. on the internet. But I, but I think the, the other thing that I think is very dynamic in the industry that I'm in, executive protection, and we call it that, uh, and we don't have a bad thing to say about other people who call other people. It doesn't bother right, us. Right, right. But I think this forte 
uh, is, is a specialized field in the security world. You are protecting people, you know? It's machines, all about people in the end. Technology, yeah. it, it's a very, very impactful thing and responsible thing when you're providing close-in protection. And you got to get it right. But we also are firm believers, we can, we can actually work on your hard set, your hard skills. But what corporate America wants, what private family wants, they're looking for soft skills as well. Are you polite? Are, are you a oh. gentleman? Are you a lady? Can yep. you conduct yourself in a business environment? It's not about the gun. And I have to tell you this, I was a cop for 20 years. I still can carry international under the 218 carry law. But quite honestly, the gun is the last thing you're going to have to think about. That's absolutely right. It's over before you have even a chance to think. And all of the assassination attempts against the presidents and heads of state, these things are over within 1.8 seconds. Yeah. You don't have a chance to get your gun out. People will say, oh yeah, I don't believe that, Bob. I'm a, I, I know how to do. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you by history and by the exercises we do back in Maryland, we do some munition drills. Right. And we put you right on the spot. And, and you got to holster up, because if you got it in your pants, that doesn't mean you're right. think, qualified to carry a handgun. And it's over, because the attack is always gun ready. So there's a mindset. He's ahead of you already. That's correct. Yeah. Exactly. Right. So our, our process is you got to be constantly with your head on a swivel, but you got to be engaged. You know, it's like a light switch. Your mind you're has to be engaged. That's right. You're either on or you're off. Cell phones, I think, are one of the worst things we have and the most important tool we have. But you know what? If I have to call you and I'm arriving with my protectee and I get voicemail, I really didn't need you in the first place. That's right. So we, we really emphasize this, that you, you can't be buried in your phone. You can't be, you know, you got to be, I call it switched on. And I think it's a very commonality that folks get distracted so easy. I don't want that on my team. And I'm not going to do that as well. Robert Oatman, rlopen.com. A pleasure. Class act, you. sir. Very Thanks impressive. Well. Thanks a lot. Chairman of the Executive Protection Council at ASIS. Yep. And you'll be here a little while talking to people. If you want to come over and meet yeah, you at booth 1613. Council's right there. Excellent. Thanks for coming on securityguidetv.com. We'll be back in a few minutes. All right. Amica Mobile's up next. All right. Thanks, my friend. Go ahead.